my old mucker over here, Merlin the Wizard, he's been covered in dust countless times over the years and I bet he gets really peed off with me. So a part of this uh, workshop improvement dust extraction program has been for his benefit as well as mine. Right, moving round, um, I've already demonstrated uh, the chop saw here with its um, new extraction unit of a polythene chamber and air cleaner above there and ducting system etc etc it's all very good very happy with it so what i'm going to do now i'm going to focus on the uh, jigsaw a bit down there but before that i'm just going to give you a run by of all my power tools and the extraction unit i use for them so walking up the bench here beside the bench rather uh, we've got this little beauty i absolutely love the color of this um, not the reason why i bought it of course but green is my favorite color um, this particular shade of green, like it a lot. Anyway, uh, record power, twin motor, cam vac, almost pushing three horsepower, um, with a great filter system of achieving 0.5 microns. Uh, you've also got a offset inlet there, so all the dust it's, it's collecting into the drum isn't banging straight into the filter, it's actually on a cyclonic kind of fashion around the drum. So that's all good. Um, the hose there is coming out, connecting up to my homemade bracket up here. And um, this hose is actually the Merca Sanders hose, so uh, there's four metres of it. Um, I'll just show you the end of the hose down here, which is designed for the Merca Sander. Lovely. Uh, where is that? There it is. Um, so I've actually focused all of my new connectors for all the power tools. On that. Um, firstly, yeah, four meters, ho four meters of hose. My bench is four meters long, but um, working with a hose of four meters can be a little bit, probably actually potentially quite dangerous. So I have it suspended on a couple of hooks here. I've got two different positions there, um, which makes it a bit safer, I think, and probably less awkward. So what I've done for all of my power tools, I've bought several of these hose connectors from Karcher. I've had them before in the past and uh, they're universal of course. Um, so each tool now has its own connector uh, with this end here that fits over the Merca hose or into the Merca hose rather. Let me just quickly show you. Like so. Nice, snug, tight fit. So it's an easy push on, pull off kind of uh, method. That particular uh, connector there is for the router, which is down there. Got the planer there, which has now got its own connector for the hose, all good. And then I've got a couple of sanders over here as well, a little palm sander and a detail sander. Again, this wee little hose just fits into that nicely. So there's no mucking about from power tool to power tool. You just, you know, take one out, put it away, connect to the next and you're away. Um, under the bench here, I've got a nice little Makita skill saw, uh, circular saw, whatever. I've had this for years actually. This is really probably 20 odd years old. I've uh, got a long cord on that. So easy fit. Little chop saw there, which is mainly on site. Um, that, if I do put a um, plug up to an extraction, it's, it's that hose there, which is to my carter over there. Great little on site pack. Great for in the workshop as well. Got the auto start power tool plug in facility on that one. Um, moving around under here, we've got a what we got biscuit jointer, old sander that I don't use anymore, very, very old router, and a belt sander. All compatible with that hose um, and, and all being extracted by that lovely coloured canvac. Okay, I think that's pretty much all my power tools sorted, apart from this little fella over here, the jigsaw. And this is really what I want to focus on. A little bit like um, the chop saw, quite difficult to extract dust from. Um, with the jigsaw, you've got above and below the cutting line. Um, I really don't think there is a, a way of extracting above and below at the same time. I know there are air benches on the market now, probably have been for quite a few years. Um, you know, if you have an extraction unit above and then you work on an air bench, that would probably 
um, pretty much 100% extract, but I don't particularly like those air benches that much, and I'm not sure how much they are, but they look very expensive. So anyway, I've had this jigsaw for probably about five years, and what it comes with is this little pipe here, which clips in, clips in there either side. Got a tiny little inlet there, look, tiny little outlet, and my experience with this is that it's not that secure and it's fallen out. Um, so I I've actually don't use it. I don't really use it that much, you know, hardly at all. And it's a bit of a flaw in, in Makita design, in my view. So putting that to one side, what I've done is focus on these two little screw holes there, look, which would be for the jigsaw's fence. Don't have one of those, it didn't come with it. Probably one of the after sale jobby things. Um, so focusing on, on those two, I've made this little fella here look. Um, nice little sort of brackety thing. Um, again, got the, the Karcher Universal Hose Adapter. So the Merker hose as snug as a bug over the top of that. Um, then you've got the, the larger diameter of the connector over the jigsaw and then these two screws of course are in there like that. I'll fasten it onto the jigsaw shortly and actually demonstrate it but anyway on there like that um, looks top heavy but I can guarantee you it's not all works lovely and I actually my preference is that I I prefer the hose with a jigsaw at least in front of me as opposed to dragging it behind and, um, and with the hose suspended on one of those hooks, it actually works really well, for me anyway. Um, and the extraction rate, I reckon, is pretty close to 100% above the cutting line with this. But I shall prove that very soon. Below, of course, you've still got the, uh, uh, below the cutting line, I mean, you've got, still got the bit of dust dropping down to the ground. But I'm not so much worried about that. I mean, it, it's mainly the... The, uh, the dust spewing above the cutting line, which is going to sort of, you know, flood the atmosphere with all, all sorts of nasty stuff. Below the cutting line, down to the ground, perhaps a little bit of a, a plume of fine dust, but I'm not really worried about that. Anyway, right, I shall now set up the camera and demonstrate my lovely little jigsaw with its new extraction bracket. Lovely. Right, the camera's now set up and I've got a piece of MDF fastened to the bench. I'm going to do two passes, one without the extractor and then with the extractor. I'm also um, going to stand in front of the jigsaw as I pass because I'm wearing a black jacket and uh, a black background. You should be able to see the dust much more clearly. After each pass, I'm then going to show the camera over the MDF workpiece and the workbench, zoom in and see what dust remnants we have and then we can make a comparison. Right, I better go and put my mask on. Right, there's pass number one. Let's just check out the uh, the MDF and the workbench. Right, as you can see, I'm stressing over this side of the bench now. You can see a load of dust there, look. Um, it's travelled all up the bench, uh, way past the vice, although you can probably not, probably can't pick it up with a camera. It's all down here, it's all over here. Um, continuing along the workpiece as well. Right, let's try pass number two.
pick up the camera up and let's go and have a look. Right, MDF workpiece, nothing on there at all. Uh, let's pan back down through the are. Nothing. Nothing on the bench. There you go. Nothing up there at all. I mean, yeah, sure, I could have swept it off before I uh, before I started the camera up again, but I wouldn't do that. There's no point. Right, I think uh, I think we got ourselves a very nice, darn good result there. Thank you.